from newstalkzb.co.nz. First, for breaking news. Um, I've got a very close personal connection with uh, Christchurch, apart from the fact that I, I grew up there. Uh, I've got my mum still there, I've got my sister-in-law there, a couple of my best friends are in Christchurch, and so um, I go way, way back. In fact, I still regard myself as a contemporary. Uh, I was at lunch, funnily enough, we were at, uh, doing a, a, a launch for, for, for Lexus, and I was at the Langham Hotel, and it was uh, and suddenly all the cell phones went. And we were just sitting there having lunch, suddenly everyone's cell phone went bang, 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 because there's a lot of journalists in the room. And uh, we all had the same sort of message, so we all started phoning everybody. And uh, the first person I always is ring is my mum. Uh, but my mum, living in a different age, doesn't have a cell phone. She's, she's literally the only person in the country left who doesn't have a cell phone. So I couldn't get hold of her, so I always ring her first, and then I start ringing around friends. And so we were standing outside the Langham Hotel, busy, you know, ringing people, finding out how bad it was. And then I went straight home after that to um, find out, you know, hit the web and find out what it was, and I got hold of my mother. I mean, September, September, it was so different because I remember in September, uh, when I rang up because mum wasn't affected at all. In fact, none of my friends were really badly affected at all. They'd all, you know, they'd, they'd been in the earthquake, uh, some had structural issues, insurance claims, uh, things like that, but nothing like February. And so it was, it was, it was almost like September hadn't happened. And so February was, was, was a, a, a catastrophe, it was a disaster. September was a major problem. But, but February was on a whole different scale and suddenly people I knew had lost homes and had lost businesses. Uh, my sister-in-law had her business in Colombo Street flat and done, just done, over. And so she's never been back to that building. Uh, my mother, who hadn't been affected in September, was at QE2. And she was in an old building in, 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 the, in, in the area of QE2 and, and she got thrown to the floor and there was a cabinet flying over the, you know, so it was a completely different experience. And I remember very, very clearly uh, on the night on the television doing close up, um, I interviewed Bob Parker and, and, and they just, they were different. Dealing with the same people in the second event, they were different. And Bob Parker, who, and, and he was stoic after February as well, and he was stoic after September, but it was a different, different person. They were all in shock. It was, a, it was, as a, you know, it was a completely different scenario. It was like a seven out of ten uh, disaster. Suddenly, it was a ten out of ten disaster. Lives would change forever. Uh, major decisions were clearly going to have to be made. Government suddenly became involved in a way they hadn't been in September. You were going to need to make the sort of decisions that Sarah came out of. You know, you were going to need to invent entire new government departments to deal with this problem. And so, to be part of that, just in that cycle, that evening and the next morning. As, as, as we sort of worked through the implications of it, it was like, yes, we went through it in September, but this is different. So what's different now? What do we have to do that's different? What are those decisions we have to make? How many people have been affected? How bad is it? You know, it was so much bigger in scale. The, the, the most critical thing they can do is, is get on with their lives, make decisions, you know, rebuild or, or, or repair or start a new job or whatever it is they need to do. And so I'm actually incredibly hopeful for Christchurch. I think overall, um, things are going as well as they possibly can, if not better than you would have expected. Uh, some unbelievably difficult decisions are having to be made, but they're being made, and buildings are being knocked down that people don't want knocked down, but that's just life. Uh, so the future, I think, is good, and the potential, the potential has always been fantastic. If you have, and you wouldn't wish it on anybody, but if you have the opportunity to rebuild an entire city, what a fantastic opportunity that is. And if you do it right, that's something that, that, that will stand for hundreds of years and, and, and you're part of that. And so I think that's a massive, massive positive.